All right, <clears throat> the next tooth we're gonna wax is tooth number 13. Maxillary left second premolar. Now on the maxillary arch, the second premolar's main difference from the first premolar is that the second premolars are generally less sharp than uh, the first premolars. They have pretty much the same anatomical structure. Lingual cusp points mesially. The mesial cusp ridge is a little bit shorter than the distal. Sometimes the second premolars could be a little smaller than the first, but it um, that doesn't always happen. A lot of times they're about the same size. So the maxillary arch conforms to the curve of P. in a convex fashion. The mandibular conforms to the curve of P. in a concave fashion. So if you put the two arches together they match. One is concave and one is convex so they kind of fit together. Now if we notice here, the lingual cusps are a bit longer than the buccal cusps, which is true of 90% uh, of the uh, arches on the maxillary. So we have to take a look at the cusp directions, take a look at the curve of SPI, and the cusp tip should touch the line that connects the cusps. The point angles should line up on the premolars. And they all should have a nice embrasure, both occlusally and buccally. The maxillary premolars should have two, two cusps, one on the lingual, and one on the buckle. Right now we're doing the cusp ridges. This is pretty much my MO. Cusp, cusp ridges, mesial and distal lobes, the gingival area, and then the central lobe. Now you need to memorize, I shouldn't say memorize, I should say you need to learn these anatomical structures because they're the same on every tooth has them. They're not the same on every tooth but every tooth has them so if you learn their curvatures, their uh, shapes, as you place them on the die, you should be able to come up with the exact right shape of the tooth.
little areas that are dirt infested or something just take it out right away don't just keep continuing sometimes you'll forget it's there and if this is an actual crown especially if it's all ceramic you'll see the dirt embedded into it once it's uh, pressed So remember the cusp tip slightly to the mesial. Mesial cusp bridge is a little shorter than the distal. Don't leave any concave areas. Now we do the lingual cusp. Try to line it up with the adjacent tooth and go towards a similar distance. Just remember they're not as sharp as the first premolars. After we did the cusp, then we kind of creep out with the uh, marginal ridges. There's the distal marginal ridge right here. And the margin marginal ridges connect to the cusp ridges of the lingual cusp. So when we're finished, We'll end up with a fish mouth. Now we do the mesial. I have to remember not to make these teeth too flat. I mean too narrow. I have a tendency to do that. Now we fill in the lingual. Lingual isn't so difficult because it's smooth. So we just basically have to worry about its curvature and its shape to match up the adjacent teeth. Remember, no concavities, these are all convex shapes. Okay, 
Okay, so let's um, get that fish mouth the way we want it. Puddle it in a little bit, melt some of the areas. So this way, can just gently scoop out some of this wax. So we can give ourselves some nice space. And if we break it, we fix it. You don't have to re-wax the whole thing over. Make sure you take all this down to match up the adjacent teeth. You don't want to start carving once you finish the anatomy. Because you're going to ruin, ruin your anatomy. A little bit of <coughs> preliminary uh, embrasures. Get this tooth just about the right size and shape you want. This way it will give you a better um, understanding of what you're doing when you're doing the uh, occlusal anatomy. So, first one, triangular ridge, teardrop shape. Starting in the center of the tooth, creeping up to the cusp tip. This embrasure here is too big, so I'm going to add a little bit to it. Meanwhile, that uh, triangular ridge is cooling. We can work on a different aspect of the tooth. This way we don't waste time. Be careful when you're carving the wax because you may hit the margin like I just did. So if you're carving very hard, you may damage it. And then you'll have to do the, uh, the cast over again if this is a real model. So this model is pretty hard, so you, it's not easy to damage. But if this was uh, stone and you scraped away some of that margin, you would have to redo the model. Okay, so just take a little bit from here. Give myself a little extra space. 
So I could put a secondary bridge in there. So we can make it a little more fancy, just so you can see how. Then we'll do the lingo. Yeah, you know what? Let's um, make a little more space there too. Right here. I'm do, doing this very gently because this uh, wax wall is very easy to break. So let's see. We have much more space now. So let's put in a nice, nice size groove. I mean, uh, triangular ridge. Ooh, too hot. You had for comfort. And do it again. some of this wax particles just a little bit So now, it's puddle time. Just like that, just like that. Get that quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, so now back to the drawing board. Literally, we're going to make our central groove here and a little bit of the triangular groove, a little bit of the uh, marginal grooves, mesial and distal. I think I'm gonna puddle this area in a little bit more. Just a little more. Remember, they don't all have to look the same. <sighs> Look 
moves are kind of squiggly. They develop on their own. Nobody tells them where to grow. Still a little bit more fill in here. It's a little bit fancy. It's a little too deep there. So let's fill it in. And then make another groove, but not so deep. Make sure we don't take this in too much. And don't make them too sharp either. These teeth are a little bit more on the dull side. So you don't have to make them too sharp. Alright, so now we pop it out and see what we need to fill in. It's not too bad, only on the interproximal. So let's fill these things in. Try to just get the missing areas filled in. Try to get those contacts. <coughs> That's one. And this will be two. Take out the extra wax that squeezed out. Do a little bit more. On the margins. This one here is something we have to take away so it doesn't keep popping out. <coughs> 